Well, good morning. Good morning, honey. Today is Monday. What is it? January the 10th, 20, 2022. And I just stopped by really quickly this morning. I have all too much foundation, but I stopped by anyway, honey. I know I look totally different from yesterday. Yesterday was my cleaning day. How did you do? Did you clean yesterday? Did you follow through with whatever your plans were? So I stopped by today. This video right here, not just for anybody. This video right here is for the children of God. Okay, so if you're a child of God, you'll get it. If you're not, you're going to feel some type of way by the end of this video, okay? So I came by. First of all, I want to give thanks to God for waking me up this morning in a good mood. And let me just say, uh, with my vegan journey, honey, listen, I had me some green tea this morning that was extra concentrated. And see this right here? This is my breakfast. I know it's a little late. But this is something, honey, that uh, God is really, really showing off. I'm telling you, God is terrible. When I say terrible, I'm talking about it in a bad way. And if you are a child of God, then you will understand. And I'm here to give him glory this morning and to testify. And if it offends you, or if you don't understand it, or if you're laughing about it, then you might not have the right spirit in you. But this right here, honey, I just took some vegetables that I already had in separate containers in my refrigerator. Some onions green pepper, garlic, tomatoes, mushrooms, and then I took some seasonings and I threw in some aquafaba, which is chickpea water and it helps to bind things. So if you want to make something like an omelet or something sticked, you want it to hold together, you can use chickpea water. And I threw in some chickpeas. Then I threw in some kale greens. And when I tell you, honey, it's cooled off a little bit, but it is delicious. I didn't put any lipstick on, but I ain't even gonna mess it up, okay? It's, it's good. So God is showing me how to, honey, it didn't take long. Look up about five to 10 minutes and, it, and my stove was right beside my refrigerator. So, um, I want to tell you <clears throat> three things. First of all, I want to tell you to beware, beware of people who are only in your life because of what you have and where you're going. And sometimes it's the closest people to you, right? They're afraid to leave you because they see where you're going and they know you're blessed. But just like Joseph, his own brothers were jealous of him. They should have loved him, his brother, right? Their brother. But they were jealous of him because of the father's love and the Father's blessing towards him, okay? So when you have God's blessing on your life, instead of some people being happy and wanting to learn from you so that they can be blessed, they don't have the right spirit. And that's why you know how you know they're not the children of God. They don't have the right spirit. And instead of being receiving and happy, they want to play games with you. And they get in their little secret. They're really not for you. And secretly, they get into their little conversations with other people. And they laugh and they set you up and, and try little things out thinking it's funny, right? But what God will do, just like in the case with Joseph and his brothers. Come on, sister. I'm talking to myself. Come on, sister. Say that. What God will do is remove people from your life. Joseph didn't ask for his brothers to be removed from his life. Even though God restored their unity and gave them a family reunion down the road, he removed them from his life because there was no place for that. And see, if I want to deal with monkeys, yes, I call them people monkeys when they monkeying around. If I want to deal with some monkeys, I'll go where the monkeys hang out. You know what I'm saying? I'll go to the zoo if I want to be with the monkeys. If I want a monkey, I'll try to buy one. But, uh, God will remove the monkeys from your life. And when God show you who people are, you have to say to the Lord, Lord, your will be done and let him take care of them. So don't worry, children of God. I'm talking to the children of God today. Don't worry when people don't have the right spirit in them and God have given them chance after chance after chance, right? And you try to help them because it's not your job to change their life and to change their mind, even though you're trying to help them. So I want to say to my trade cousin, let me, let, let me just say the second thing before, you know, I get talking to talking too much because I only have 10 minutes. My video is going to cut off. The second thing I want to tell you is 
that when God says he will do something, I want to tell you, God hears you, honey. Yes, baby, God hears your prayers. So I want to tell, before I move on to this God hears your prayers part, I want to tell my granddaughters, because see, I don't need a whole bunch of subscribers and I don't need a whole bunch of views to know what I'm talking about. I don't need to be discovered, honey. I already know who I am. Praise God. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about God. I am his. And when you are his, he will fight your battles for you, okay? He will take care of stuff like Joseph didn't ask for those people to be removed. He removed them because, honey, that was not his plan. So God has a plan for my life. I don't know about you. And when people don't know God and you try to tell them about the awesomeness of God. I'm going to give you an example of the next subject. And you try to tell them and you try to show them and they see them in your life, but they don't really understand. They think you bougie or they think you think you better than and all no honey it's god in my life that's what it is and and they they, they still don't understand and they live in wrong they live in for the wrong things and their life is foul and they don't even understand it you know and god trying to show them through you you know what i'm saying and they don't want to accept it you just have to let put that in god's hands and keep on moving and god will remove them from your life sometimes he will so he can bless you and and you don't have time for that Okay, so to my granddaughters, that's what I'm saying. To my granddaughters, my beautiful granddaughters, I know you're young, and I know y'all watch my videos sometimes. When you see those guys that want you because of your body, honey, and when you have people come into your life, and your little, you know, your little school, your little, you know what I'm saying? Uh, honey, when people want to use you, they want to hang with you because you're beautiful. Everybody wants somebody beautiful in their life. Guys want beautiful girls. But when people want to use you for who you know, what you have, where you live at, and all that type of stuff, you be aware of those people. You want people who genuinely love you. And if people, because people will pretend to like you, and they really don't like you, God will show you that. And when God show you that, you don't have to say anything. You just, you just understand that God will reveal things to you that are secret. And when you see it, believe it, believe it. And all you can do is pray for that person and move on, okay? Second thing, when I say that God is terrible, okay, I have a couple minutes. When I say that God is terrible, let me tell you, this right here, for those of you who have followed my vegan journey, I've been struggling. I didn't become vegan. It was a strange, it was a strange way. It was because I was fasting for someone. So this person that I'm fasting for is in a certain position, right? And what I'm fasting for has caused me to be vegan because I'm fasting for non, from non-vegan foods, okay? So when I messed up the other day, I was messing up. And I was like, you know, blah, blah, blah. So what happened was when I saw that person, honey, they were in a bad shape. And I, I, in my spirit, I was mourning. I was like, Lord, I asked God immediately for forgiveness. I said, God is listening. He is honoring my fast. He is not playing. And when God listens to you and honors you, that's a beautiful thing because he takes you serious. And God is a serious God, okay? And so when somebody tried to make me mess up, I don't know if it was intentionally or on accident yesterday, but when somebody tried to make me mess up, I understood they don't even know. They don't know this story that I'm saying right now. So if they watch this video, they'll see it. But they don't even know what they're doing because this, what I'm doing, is bigger than just wanting to be vegan, honey. When you're fasting and you're praying in the spirit, honey, woo, it's a big, it's a big deal, okay? And God is doing some, he's working. And when I lost some money on Friday, believe me, my trade cousins, I know some of y'all got rich this morning. And I'm not talking about some little change. With that Moderna, when God told me what I lost, he would give it back to me. I said, oh, Lord, I didn't know you meant right away. I got out too early, honey. But God told me, right? So you, you keep that faith, honey. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be stupid, but don't be scared. But God will do just what he says do. He will do just what he says he will do. And let me see. I have my little notes here. I can't even read it because I wrote it in marker and it looked like it faded. I want to tell you to keep the faith that God hears you. I'm talking to the children of God. God hears you and he honors you and he will do what he said he's going to do. And honey, he will use the people and people that don't even know they're being used. Like this person, I'm fasting. Well, he don't even know how he's helping me get the victory. I'm helping him and he's helping me. God will use people that you don't even know that you're being a help for. Hallelujah. That's the type of God we serve. So listen, I think I said everything I want to say. My video is probably going to cut off. I know I'm talking a little bit fast, but um, 
Yeah, honey, when, uh, that's it. I don't know what else I wrote on here, but that's what I wanted to say. So God bless.